And welcome back. We are here with Michelle from On Angels Wings and Anjanette from the Hospice Foundation of the Ozarks, whom this segment is sponsored by. So, Anjanette, let's start with you. Remind people what Hospice Foundation of the Ozarks is. Hospice Foundation of the Ozarks. We're celebrating our 25th year this year. Wow. And so we're getting the word out about who we are. And what we do is we award grant money to other nonprofits like On Angels <laughs> Wings. And I thought it'd be fun today to bring her and talk about, you know, what the ways we've helped the community and yeah, one of the nonprofits. Absolutely. I mean, you guys are very big on education, but oh, I love yeah. that you're supporting things like this, mm -hmm. which on Angels Wings, please tell us what that is. Yeah, so we are a, a nonprofit that provides free photographs and support services for families that have a medically fragile child or who lose a child at birth. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm a certified grief recovery method specialist. So we provide wow. a dedicated grief recovery program for our families that we serve. Um, we do pictures for them throughout their journey. If their child is still fighting that medical condition, they get pictures from us annually. Um, our families that have a loss, even when they've had a loss, if they have another child, we'll do pictures for them when they have what they call a rainbow baby, wow. because that part is just so, it's difficult when you've had a loss to have another mm -hmm. child, so we wanna support them through that as well. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Now mm -hmm. you guys have this kind of budding partnership, and there's some really exciting stuff happening these next few months, so tell us about that. Yeah. We are doing an event together. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got to talk about it today. Okay. Yes. We're doing a gallery showing at Jury's um, Pool Arts mm -hmm. Center um, in honor of the Hospice Foundation's 25th anniversary, and it's featuring eight On Angels Wings families from our local community. Um, each of them has a different medical diagnosis. Um, we do have one loss there that their whole journey shared, including their rainbow baby. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like a collage for each kiddo, their story, um, and just kind of showing, well, it's called Celebrating Life and Encouraging Hope, and that's On Angel's Wing's motto, is that yeah. we want these families to understand that we're celebrating this child's life, no matter how short mm -hmm. it may be, and giving them hope for the future, however that may look. I love that you celebrate life. Life is so precious, mm -hmm. and your photography is beautiful. Yeah. And so you're really giving these families quality yeah. too. And yeah, we're very the picky. whole experience. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're very picky about the photographers that volunteer with is, us. A lot of these, this is like the only pictures yes, they will ever absolutely. have of mm -hmm. these children. Mm -hmm. And I can only imagine how much that means to them. Yeah. Yeah. So what's awesome is that it starts September 2nd through October 21st. So it's the first Friday that it starts. Okay. First Friday of the September 2nd. So you have a time to go and visit it, and it's very inspiring. It's a great event. And then also, too, we're having a special reception October 7th from 4.30 to 7, and it's at the Pool Arts Center, and that's also a First Friday very art walk. Cool. So please come and see. Yeah. Well, that fits right into the First <laughs> yes. Friday Art Walk. Yes. Yeah. So like with that First Friday event, what can people expect from that specifically? Our, the reception event, uh -huh. we're going to, um, we're really going to work hard to invite more on Angels Wings families, especially the families that are featured to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will be speaking. <laughs> yes, she will. She's um, a great speaker. I wrote a book. What are you speaking on? <laughs> yes. Just yeah, I wrote recovery? a book this year that I, uh, I published this year about um, helping other people grieve. There's a lot mm. of information out there about how to grieve yourself, mm -hmm. but we as a society kind of treat grievers in a way that doesn't help them through their grief process very well. And so over my 15 years doing this, um, I kind of compiled stories from a lot of our families, friends that have lost spouses and siblings and parents, mm -hmm. and just kind of really addressed how we as a society can better serve somebody who's grieving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have good intentions, but yeah. that doesn't mean that we do the right thing. Absolutely. I know that sometimes I have a hard time finding the right words and mm -hmm. the right way to support people. What do they really need at this point? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And I think a lot of it too is that we tend to want to fix it for them, oh. and that's not something that's fixable. Mm -hmm. oh, and so we, we work really hard to make them feel better, but mm -hmm. nobody really can in those mm -hmm. situations. Yeah. So they just need support instead. Right, yeah. that's amazing. Okay, so remind people, the website for Hospice Foundation, the website for On Angels Wings, and then the event info for the gallery. Absolutely. Hospice 417-861-9543. So call if you want to know more information about that. Mm -hmm. And then it's um, oawphoto.org. Um, and anybody that needs pictures or is curious about qualifications can find that information on our website. That's amazing. Thank you both for mm -hmm. what you do. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. 
Up next on Ozark Live, playing pickleball to help the efforts of Be Like Nick. Yep, we'll be back with that right after this.